what's happening everybody? How you doing today? It's your boy Fit City, and let's get into the Jungle Cut meta, but this time, I'm gonna do something fun. As you see at the bottom there, Wild Card, let's go into the non-meta Pokemon for the Jungle Cup, because the meta is pretty much set in stone, but the Wild Cards is where things get interesting. So let's go over these four Pokemon, Venomoth, uh, Scizor, Beedrill, and Masquerain down there, starting with Beedrill, and we'll go over the stats of these Pokemon as well uh, after we go over this, then get into some simulations. So Beedrill is weak to Fire, Flying, Psychic, and Rock. It's super resist fighting Grass, Bug, Fairy, Poison, but let's look at the moves and what makes it so good. So right off the bat, it has access to Poison Jab, fantastic move for PvP. Same with Infestation. Infestation has a very high energy per turn very high but the attack isn't very high to kind of counterbalance it so depending on how you want to run your Beedrill and we'll do some simulations will depend on what you want to use if you want to get off more charge moves you go with infestation if you do more damage you go with poison jab so right off the bat you can probably already see what you want to use you want to use X's or arrow ace because arrow ace is going to cover a bug versus bug matchup it's going to cover a grass matchup but you're not going to come across any fighting now, mind you, though, it's not going to do anything against Electric, Rock, or Steel, which you can come across. And the same thing with x -Scissor. It's not going to do anything against Steel. If you come up to a Flying matchup, you're not going to be doing anything. That's where the Ar Aerial Ace will come in, but Aerial Ace does neutral damage. Okay, good. So, Flying, Poison, Ghost. So, it can be tricky. Yes, you could go with Poison Bomb, and I'm not telling you not to, but I just, I don't know. It's a move that takes longer to uh, go off. And Beedrill is one of those Pokemon you want to throw out in the beginning of battle uh, to really tax your opponent's shields. So it's a quick, heavy hitter. Try to get rid of your opponent's shields due to the moveset it has. Now, Venomoth is a kind of a different story. Venomoth's interesting. So it's weak to fire, flying, psychic, and rock. And it has basically the same resistances as Beedrill. Actually, it does have the exact same. But the moves is what makes it different. It has access to Confusion, and we know Confusion hits very hard in PvP, but it also has uh, access to Infestation, and there's an interesting little simulation that we're going to do with this. Now, what do you want to run with it? If you have Poison Fang, absolutely. It doesn't do that much damage, but it charges up extremely fast. You're getting rid of shields. And then we have Silverwind. Now remember, Silverwind does get a chance to buff your Pokemon's attack and defense. If we look here, 10% chance to increase attack and defense of self by two stages. Two stages. That is absolutely huge, but only a 10% chance to do it, so that kind of stinks. But I would still run Poison Fang and Silverwind. If you don't have Poison Fang, run Psychic. That could be a one-hit KO. Now let's go into Scizor. Scizor, what makes this a good choice is the steel typing because it really resists grass, really resists poison, it resists bug, dragon, fairy, ice, normal, psychic, and steel. It's only weakness is fire and you're not, I don't think you can come across that at all to be honest. But the next thing is Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is ridiculous, it's got a high energy per turn, like the highest, it's insane. And you'd run Night Slash for shield busting capabilities. And you can run X Scissor as well, especially if you come across a grass type. So that could definitely be interesting. The thing with dark moves is it'll do neutral damage to those steel typings, um, which is very nice, and those rock typings. So you can deal neutral damage against that, so that's definitely good. Iron Head, I don't think is worth it, uh, just for the fact that you're not going to be coming across any of these, really. So Iron Head's a no-no. I would go Fury Cutter, X Scissor, and Night Slash. And then finally, Masquerade. This is probably the bread and butter of this meta for the, uh, the the off meta, I should say. It's weak to electric, which stinks. Fire, it's weak to flying too. Ice, really weak to rock, but it ground moves don't phase it, fighting moves don't phase it, grass moves don't phase it, and bug moves do not phase it. So it's very situational. Again, Infestation, great move. Air Slash, fantastic move as well. It deals a lot of damage and has a good EPT. And then this is where things get interesting. Both Ominous Wind and Silver Wind, like we just went over, has a, a the chance to increase in attack and defense by two stages. Now, it's a small chance, but that's a chance that you're willing to take, right? Well, here's the thing. With Ominous Wind, you're doing the neutral damage against anything you go up against in this cup. That's kind of a big deal, right? Especially with it dealing decent damage, that's kind of a big deal. 
especially if you get the buff, that's even a bigger deal. Now, Air Cutter definitely has its place. It doesn't power up too quickly, but it's not a bad move. It kind of reminds me of Sky Attack with less power. It will do super effective damage to Bug and Grass, but not very much against Electric, Rock, and Steel. So here's the deal. If you want to run Masquerain, and I think you should definitely try it out. You have to run Ominous Wind, and then choose between Air Cutter and Silver Wind. It depends on what you're going after. So, without further ado, let's go into the stats of these Pokemon. Venomoth is the one that's I'm cutting off right now because I always cut off Pokemon with my camera. But Venomoth is a bug, and we're going to use 100% IVs for just the overall easiest and best comparison. There are better IVs. Um, 15, 15, 15 gives Venomoth a level 25 at 1487 CP. Attack of 129, which is not bad. Defense of 105, which is a little low, and a stamina of 124, which is not bad. Anytime you're in the mediocre range, that's that's actually really good. Uh, next up is Beedrill. 15, 15, 15 gets, lands at a level 28 at 100% IVs. 1477 CP, a 130 attack, which is not bad. Defense is a little bit lower, but the stamina is only up 1. So both Venomoth and Beedrill are pretty much the same Pokemon. Then we go into Mask Rain. At 15, 15, 15, level 23, 1492 CP, the attack stats even higher. The defense resembles Venomoth, but the HP is down a little bit. So Masquerain, out of the three that we've just covered, will deal the most damage. But of course, we still have to cover Scizor with that bug and steel typing. That steel typing is a big deal. Uh, 15, 15, 15 at level 17. 1457 CP, the highest attack out of the four. The highest defense out of the four. But also the lowest HP out of the four. So, it's... Uh, Scizor hurts, uh, especially with that Night Slash dealing uh, neutral damage to pretty much every typing. I think it is every typing, right? Let's go ahead and double check that. Neutral damage to every typing in this league. Yes, because you're not going to come across any Fighting, Fairy, or Dark types. I don't think so. Nope, you won't. Well, we can just go over here. No? Nah. Well, you... Okay, you come across Fighting. I keep forgetting about Heracross. Heracross is kind of an interesting Pokemon because not everybody has one. But I guess you could come across it. Um, but the thing is with Scissor, then, if you come across that, you could use X Scissor, right? Uh, I guess not. That's interesting. So, obviously, Scissor is going to lose to Heracross anyway. It's a Steel type, and you want to run fighting moves on Heracross to begin with. So, we went over the stats. Let's go over some simulations. So, first off, I want to go with Venomoth. Let's go ahead and Venomoth. There we go. And we're going to go up against Vigoroth. And this is interesting. So, Vigoroth, you want to run counter. Uh, Body Slam and Brick Break, me personally. Let's just go with Psychic. So, Confusion, Silverwind, no shields. Let's see who wins. It's a tie. Well, not really. You win after you get that Confusion off. See? So, interesting. Let's just say it's a tie. So, we go to one shield and one shield. Same moveset. It's another tie. So, if we go to two shields, two shields, like if it's at the beginning of the battle, nobody bud budges at all, Venomoth takes the cake. So if we switch to Infestation, this is where things get interesting. And let's start with the two shield scenario. Notice you have three more health at the end than you did with Confusion. That's interesting, right? Well, that's because Infestation has a very much higher energy per turn, meaning Silver Wind's going off a lot more than it did when it had uh, Confusion. So let's look at the one shield matchup. Remember, it was a tie with one shields. It was a tie. Vigoroth actually wins this because uh, Infestation isn't doing as much damage when there's less shields. Okay, so no shields. Vigoroth should win, right? Well, let's see. It does. So very, very interesting. If you want to run Infestation, you win with two shields no matter what. But if you run Confusion, you tie basically in every scenario except for two shields. So that's interesting, right? So that's Vigoroth. Then let's look at Heracross, right? Heracross. Heracross, you want to run? That's pretty much the best moveset. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We probably want to go close combat though, right? No, we'll keep it like it is. So let's run Heracross. No shield situation. Not even close, right? Venomoth wins. We're going to keep confusion because using uh, Infestation in this scenario would be kind of dumb. So we'll go ahead and use one shield here. Not even close. So two shields should be a night night Heracross. Oh, it is. It's not even close. So Heracross has no chance whatsoever. So Venusaur sh or Venusaur shouldn't either. 
right? Oh my gosh. V E N U. Thank you. We're on Vine Whip. Frenzy Plant. Yep, Sludge Bomb. Okay, so here's two shields. Not even close. Let's go ahead and just do no shields. Confusion just hurts too much. So Venomoth does just fine against Venusaur. Um, and then here's the final one I wanted to do. I want to do Noctowl with, okay, Wing Attack, Sky Attack. No, we're going to do Nightshade. So this is the one I wanted to see. Oh, <laughs> wow. Not even close. That's no shields, though. That's no shields. So if you shield the first one... Still not even close. And Infestation will not make this any better. Just letting you guys know that Venomoth is a no-go against Noctowl. So let's go to Scizor. And we're going to run the best moveset we know we can. And let's just go ahead, go ahead and go up against Noctowl. Wait, let's run that again. Wow, that's very close. That's very close. That's very close. Wow. Two shield situation. Wow. That's very close. Let's do one shield situation. I think scissor might... Mmm. So it looks like you might need to... Let's go ahead and put none. Let's just do Night Slash. See, so getting two Night Slashes off is better than... Let's go back to two shields. Okay. Okay. So you need X scissor. And then, of course, no shields. Noctowl should win that. This is also cementing how good Noctowl is as a Pokemon. So, Scizor can't beat Noctowl. So, let's look at Lantern. Lantern, Water Gun, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt. I know a lot of people that are going to be running Charge Beam. So, let's go ahead and do that. And this is no shields. Wow. Okay. Now, what does Water Gun look like? Even better. Interesting. Okay, so Lantern wins the no shield battle. We'll go ahead and go into one shield. They both die. Let's look at Charge Beam. Whoa! Interesting. Lantern actually takes the bait with the no shield situation. Or one shield situation with Charge Beam. Oh, wow. Okay, so two shields. It wasn't even close. How about Water Gun? Huh. So Water Gun's dealing more damage to Scizor. That's interesting. Actually, check this out. Water Gun was the only move that Lantern used every single time to kill it. Its Thunderbolt got shielded. And it won with Water Gun alone. Wow. That's incredible. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Fortress. Yes. Bug Bite. I like. I, I think I'm going to run Rock Tomb when I do mine. So two shields. Here we go. Oh! Scizor takes the bait on that one. Holy cow. Go ahead. Go to one shield here. Fortress wins. And then let's do no shields. Huh, okay. So, Scizor puts up a good fight, but it cannot win against the Almighty Fortress. And then, finally, the last one is Vigoroth. Counter, Brick Break, here we go. This is no shields? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, with no shields? Hold on. Let's say you use Brick Break instead. Doesn't make a difference. And no shields. Scizor can take... Several counters. Oh my gosh. And then take this? Brick Break? Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. Scissor with no shields can win. Wow. That's incredible. Is this going to get better with shields though? Ah, uh, yeah. Vigoroth is going to be able to survive now. And then is it going to be even worse with two shields? So Vigoroth against Scizor. Holy cow. Scizor will take the bait with no shields. That's interesting. Wow. Alright, next up's Beedrill. We're gonna run Poison Jab. There we go. So, this is two shields. Beedrill wins. Does it win with Infestation? Yes, but not as much, right? 
The one with 9 health? Yeah, okay. So, well, that's with the 2 shield situation. Let's go to 1 shields. Tie? And no shields. Tie. Well, there you go. Beedrill can counter Vigoroth. I did not know that. You probably didn't know that either, and it's an off-meta Pokemon. So Beedrill can counter... Huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at this one. No shields. Beedrill by a mile. Let's look at one shield. Beedrill by a mile, and then let's look at two shields. Beedrill by a mile. So Beedrill definitely is going to counter Venusaur, which we kind of figured already. How about Fortress? Two shields? Huh. Fortress barely lives. Wow. One shield. Fortress takes the bait. And then no shields. Fortress should win no matter what. Yeah, okay. So, interesting. Two shields are Beedrill's pretty much best option. Uh, Sky Attack and Nightshade. So here is no shields against Noctowl. Not close. But I expect Beedrill to make a comeback once we get to two shields. That's one shield. And here's two shields. Mm. Beedrill can't hold its own. Uh, here's the last one that I think is going to be interesting. Vespaquin. Okay, this is the best... Ooh. I'd run Poison Sting. Let's see this. Two shields. Oh, wow. Alright, let's run Bug Bite. That's better, right? 55 as opposed to... 89. Alright, so we're gonna run Bug Bite. Okay, so that's uh, two shields. Here's one shield. Thespi loses. Interesting. Wow! In a no shield because of power gym. In a no shield situation, Vespi Queen will come out on top. That's unbelievable. Huh. Beedrill is showing quite some promise though. So that's Beedrill. Last one's gonna be Masquerade. Apologize for the video being so long, but this is gonna be the best coverage you can definitely get on this. And this this saves you guys time running the simulations. So let's see, Vespi, we're gonna keep Air Slash, we're gonna keep Ominous Win, and we'll go with Air Cutter. We'll go with Air Cutter. So here is no shields against Vespi Queen Masquerade. Masquerade loses. What does Infestation look like? Not any better. So we're gonna stick with Air Slash. And let's go with Silverwind. I don't think that was any different. A little bit. Okay. So let's see here. That's uh, that's no shields though. One shield? Oh, there we go. Vespi or uh, Mask Rain's coming back against Vespi Queen. All right. So no shields. Vespi Queen wins. But if there's a shield involved, Mask Rain's gonna take the bait. So let's look at Vigoroth here with counter. Let's give it Silver Wind. Oh wow, Vigo wins. If it uses Silver Wind, but if Ominous win, check that out. Ominous Wind does not do that much damage. It's Ghost. How does that work? What? Hold on. Wait, what's the? Check this out. Okay, so Ominous win. Ominous win. And then if I change this silver one to air cutter. I don't get it. Ominous wind. Ominous wind. Why didn't it Alright, that, that simulation's broken. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I don't know. Probably wouldn't use Masquerade against Vigoroth. I thought it would win, but that's probably not a good idea. Fortress. Where are you? Aha! Mask wins. Let's look at one shield. Ooh, mask loses. Let's look at no shields. And mask loses. Yeah, that makes sense because a rock tomb. That's what I would run. Alright. Let's look at Noctowl! 
This should be a pretty good matchup, actually. Let's also get no shields? <laughs> actually, this shouldn't be a good matchup. No, I think about it. It might be in a two shield situation, maybe? I don't know. I think that wing attack's just gonna kill it. Yeah, okay. That, that's definitely a no-no. I should have probably known that. So let's look at Lantern. We don't want Thunder, we want Hydro Pump. So the lantern here. We're actually gonna run Silver Wind on this one. That's with two shields. Not one shield. Ooh. No shields? Now let's look at Water Gun. One shield? I think Masquerade is going to win the two shield situation. No, it's worse. Wow. Alright, so Masquerade is not against Lantern. Venusaur! Let's look at this. I don't think it's going to matter what situation it's going to be in. I think Air Slash is just too much damage. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. Air Slash is just too much damage. So good Venusaur counter. And then last one, this is the one I'm most interested in. Vespiqueen. What if I give it an ominous win? Doesn't matter. Hmm. Alright, one shield situation. Okay. This okay, so this is the last sim, right? This goes to show you that the main meta is still very good. So, Masquerine, you guys are seeing the situation because I put these non-meta Pokemon, these off-meta Pokemon, the wild cards, against the meta Pokemon, and you guys saw what situations they win in. So, take that with a grain of salt. Um, use it to your advantage, though. If you know your current situation and you can do a timely-mattered mattered uh, switch out to win that situation, definitely do it. As far as Masquerine, which move you should run, I don't know. I, the ominous one with air cutter seemed to be okay, especially if you're able to get an air cutter off without no shields, because this game or this simulation will choose the move that it will go off first. So that's ominous one. So some of these are a little skewed. The Vigoroth one was definitely kind of off. I feel I don't know how it was per, like picking that. But let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have actually tried out some of these wild card Pokemon. Let me know how they went. Uh, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. And subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the Fit City fam. This community is fantastic. I would welcome you to be a part of it. That's it with your boy Fit City. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.